Hi, I'm Luann Davis Haggerty, and I wrote Divine Inspiration. That's the monologue. You asked me, what do I love about Buffalo? <laughs> well, you know, every city has a personality and Buffalo has a personality too. It's a lot more welcoming, warm, diverse. It's a, it's a community that has a strong work ethic and people tend to try to find the yes inside the no. Uh, this project is an example of that. Here we are in the middle of the Corona pandemic and we're not saying no, no, no theater, no, no. We're saying, where is the yes? And Buffalo tends to be very good about that. The economy might be in trouble, but that doesn't stop. You still have a theater district. So Buffalo shines. It might not be easy to see on the surface, but underneath the heart of Buffalo is clearly it shines. Um, things that annoy me about Buffalo, not a lot, but I would say the snow. Most people would say snow, but actually I think that's a secret. We tell people the snow is bad. So they have to be committed to be able to come to Buffalo, which means when they're here, they are fully committed to being here. Um, your third question was an experience that can only happen in Buffalo. Well, um, individual, I have so many stories, uh, but I would say I'll pick one. We had just gone to see a very serious show at Irish Classical Theater. And I was ready to go to a bar and sit and discuss and analyze and really enjoy that experience. So we went into the Hyatt bar and we look around and everyone is dressed in disco clothes. I mean, everyone, everyone must have been 50 people there, and they're all full out disco clothes. And we realized, we asked the waiter, what's up with that? And they said, oh, well, yeah, there's a, there's a disco convention here. This is like the 20th year for celebrating <laughs> disco. And the contrast between our mood from seeing that serious Irish show to the complete exuberance of everyone who was around us, the costumes, the lights, the, the mirror ball, the, the, the lighting. Um, I think that right there, where could that happen? But, but Buffalo, high culture, low culture, meeting up easily, intermingling. It's nice. Um, or another one is we went to the Basilica, you know, Our Lady of uh, Victory. And I'm not that religious, but love the church. And it really feels like a European uh, Basilica. Bought some things at the gift store and there was kind of a lottery for uh, a rosary that had been blessed by the Pope. I won the rosary. <laughs> so that's the kind of thing that can happen in Buffalo that I don't think happens in many other places around. Um, let's see, the things that I love, my favorite, my favorite places around the city. Ooh, again, many, many. The theater district is first. The fact that you have a main street with theaters with a street, a streetcar, uh, I think that 
really shows a commitment to the arts that I don't see in other upstate New York, New York um, cities. Rochester, no, Syracuse, not really. So Buffalo's commitment to the arts through the theater district. Love the zoo. It makes me feel like I'm on safari every time I go. Love that. Um, I love eating buffalo wings in Delaware Park. Just love that. Watching the people. Uh, last time we were there, there was a guy who was doing a walk around the loop, but dancing. I mean, full out hip hop dancing every time he passed. So, I mean, just to sit in the park is an enjoyable thing. Uh, fifth, what would I like to see for the future of Buffalo? Well, um, more financial support for the arts and encouragement of all of the variety of cultures that are in Buffalo to have a little bit more crossover, a little bit more integration. Um, it's a great place to live and I would keep that and maybe give the city more recognition for that too. Um, the restaurants, the cultural uh, exposure, experience, all of that I think really just needs a little bit more encouragement, a little bit more financial support. And I hope in the next 20 years, we see more of that just growing and blooming around Buffalo. Hope that answers all of your questions and nice to see you at least virtually.